Hello beautiful souls, Antoinette here from Antoinette Intuitive Tarot and Jewellery. Today I wanted to show you the Oracle Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. This is a rock pool deck. Um, it arrived today. I've taken the cellophane off because you don't need to watch me take all that off. And I got this one through Amazon. I am accompanied by my dog today and she is sighing and being very... Um, grumpy in the corner so I do apologize for her noises it's a nice sturdy box it's actually quite small I don't know what I was expecting I think I might have been expecting a bigger box but actually this is a handy size and I do like it I saw this on another channel I can't remember the name if I do remember I'll link them down below but they had a ridiculous number of oracles and um, this one kind of stood out as she was flipping through and I kind of got it to go with these two decks over here I thought it'd be a nice addition um, it comes with a very cute little coloured book. It has a nice index page here. And in the index, so it goes through the entire moon phases and then it goes through the moons and then um, the kind of extra moons that we have, you know, the lunar, god, the blue moon, super moon. Um, there's a preface about Stacey and how she's fascinated with the moon as a child have a little introduction about the moon and you know really what, how it influences us and for many who aren't familiar the moon uh, many farmers farm by the moon certainly here in England anyway uh, so it does have a very important part to play in where our food comes from and the cycles and how our you know crops grow here so there's lots of information about the different types of moons that we have and a little bit on how to use the cards there are spreads in here I have had a quick peek and this one, I have to admit, is kind of fascinating me a little bit. So you lay all the cards out. I'm going to need a big space to do this. You lay out 1 to 28. Um, so including the ones in between 16 and 28, you lay them all down so you can view the whole spread. And then you lay ABC down. The ABC will come from the remaining cards. So that'll be the moon phases plus the extra cards um, in the deck that's left out. And we have it here. So basically, card A it will become the important thing that you need to understand about the question that you're posing within that spread. Card B will be the most important action that you're needing to take. And card C indicates the learning and wisdom of the heart of the question. So I don't know, do you need to lay out all 28 cards before you can answer these questions? Or can you simply run this as a three card spread? That will be interesting to find out. Um, the lazy person in me just thinks three cards, pull the 28 off and, you know, shuffle the others like you would a major arcana. But we can see we have a seasonal spread here. How to dedicate your cards. And then here we have um, into the cards themselves. So it's colour, colour picture and information for each one. And it basically runs, you know, a page per card front and back for as much or as little as is needed for each one. So that's really nice and that goes all the way to the end where well, we have the um, moons, the long night moon. I actually, I've not actually heard that one. I've called that the queen of the moon. Then we have the lunar god, the blue moon, Super moon, and that's it. And then we have a bit about the author. So there's the book. The card stock, if you have the um, Sawain, which is Oracle, very much like that. I think Rockpool card stock is quite standard. It's um, probably more tarot card feel, and the cards are glossy. Um, so, you know, don't expect big thick cards so it's actually not too bad for handling at that thickness for you know 44 cards that's going to be quite easy to shuffle so i hold them this way because i didn't quite get my camera sorted for this so i do apologize so here we have card one which is the void beginnings so you have you know keywords on here and then obviously you can go to the book to see what's going on
pictures really are delightful. That is beautiful. And I like this one. This is one of the cards that drew me to the deck. The new path. Assessing. So it's also got, now we're moving into the first quarter. We've come out of the waxing crescent. Now we are into the waxing gibbous. Discernment. Yeah. So I'm not sure, this kind of reminds me a lot of the tarot and oracle of mystical moments that's been very popular around and about at the moment. I'm not sure how this compares, if any of you have those, please do let me know in comments because I have to say they are rather attractive looking decks, um, but I don't want to have lots of decks that are the same. I do like to keep them a little bit similar. Beauty. Look at that. That looks like a mouth, nose, there you go, eye. That is fantastic. Collage. Wisdom. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel most of my life. Reaching for the stars, stood on a pile of books. Gratitude. Protection. Resistance. And surrender yourself. Release. That's lovely. Ooh. Hunger. So we must be going into the actual moons. So that's card 28. So that'd be the end of that 28 card spread that we were looking at. Then these would be the remaining cards for your cards A, B, and C in that pull. The snow moon. There's our worm moon. Very much like the Empress there, isn't she? Egg Moon. The Flower Moon. Ooh, the Hot Moon. Thunder Moon. Is that July Thunder Moon? Green Corn Moon. And there's the Harvest Moon, September, I'm assuming. Hunter's Moon for October, or the Blood Moon as many know it, the Beaver Moon. Okay, so the Long Night Moon, which must be like the, around the 21st of December or something, Winter Solstice. Sovereignty, so this is Queen of the Moon. These must be like court cards. The Masculine. The unexpected and the super moon for attraction. There we go. Oops. What did you think of those? Are they something that you might be tempted with? I have only little hands. Yep, they're pretty good. I mean, you can do it that way, but I can only just reach from top to bottom. <laughs> Problems with being short, although you know what they say. Short people are better at partying. There we go, that's more my, <laughs> my shuffling ability. So let's take a look and see what we get from this. go we have the full moon power quite apt for the moon that we've just had really being a super moon there's a lot of power packed in that one let's see what the book says quickly step into your true power shine brightly do not hide who and what you are the time is right to attract big things for yourself ancestral energy is important Open your mind to larger possibilities. Big magic can be wrought. So oh, we have a little affirmation. I have power. It is real. Brilliant card. That goes quite nicely with the Venus, Gemini and Mercury communication energy coming in this week, um, the 3rd of May. 
2021 and apparently that's a good time to start putting into action all your plans and communicating them so perfect card and as I did mention briefly I got this deck to go alongside these two so um, I'm hoping let's just take a look but uh, yeah I think they're going to pair quite nicely what do you think Right, let me know in comments, as always, um, like, subscribe and share if you've been before. If you don't want to comment anything in particular, but want to let me know you've been, then please give me three emojis in comments, maybe some sunflowers, moons, or even smiley faces. Take care and I'll see you again.